Hello, good evening, welcome my beautiful people to my channel. Today we'll do a nakshatra number 23, the heart of Dhanishta nakshatra because the moon is over Dhanishta nakshatra today. It's the 2nd of August. So Dhanishta nakshatra, Dhanishta nakshatra, think of musical instruments, think of wealth in terms of talents. These people are very talented, Dhanishta nakshatra. But we need to understand the depth, the heart of a nakshatra. The temperament of Dhanishtha is Rakshasa, which means Rakshasa, Dev, Manushya, what does all this la 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 mean? Basically, Rakshasa means it's very tamasic in nature. It is powerful in the realm of tamas. They also have a lot of psychic kind of powers, Rakshasa Gana, by the way. But they kind of tend to use it for selfish means. That's where they go sideways. Varna is servant, okay, like the caste, the great caste system. But we are talking about the caste of nakshatras here, not something which is popularly made out by inheritance. It's just the nakshatras drive itself, the propensity is what you can call a nakshatra. Varna, in terms of varnas of a nakshatra, that means it is basically a propensity. It is a servant, which means what? It likes to work. That's why I put it in bracket, just work. Anybody can be a Dhanishta Nakshatra in this day and age in 2023. They can be engineers, they can be doctors, they can be lawyers, they can be politicians, they can be anything. Actors, actresses, right? But it loves to work. The propensity of Dhanishta is to work in the physical reality. Work, right? And work for selfish means. Ironically, this is the Nakshatra of Bhishma. Type is active. It is an active nakshatra. It falls between Capricorn and Aquarius. Two parts. It's split in half. Like you can see the sign over there. Split in Capricorn and Aquarius. Two signs next to each other. 10 and 11. So type is active. Active and servant. So propensity is to work and type is active. Means it loves to go out there. What are active type nakshatras? They are basically ones which want to go out actively and participate. It's just straight and simple. They are outgoing people. They want to go out there and get stuff done. That is an active nakshatra. The drive is chiti. This is a little funny. First of all, they are rakshasagana. Okay, so they like all tamasic things. <clears throat> they like to work. They are actively working. Good workers. Drive is thiti. Thiti is to preserve. To keep things as they are. To maintain the status quo, so to speak. The Lord in Capricorn and Aquarius both is Saturn. So it is uh, the next, the planet itself is a Shudra. Again, so it wants to work. So the temperament, Varna is also servant and the Lord is also a servant. So it goes very well, right? Saturn would do well in Dhanishta, for example, because Saturn loves to work. Saturn is a worker, worker class. So we see all the talents and abilities there, which is a recap from the earlier D10 series. The same thing I have put here, right? Talents, creative and performing arts. They may excel in performing arts. Sign is of a musical instruments. Music, musicians, singers, actors, writers, designers, roles that involve artistic abilities, technology and innovation. We are talking about the professional here. Because once you know the profession's drive, you can understand it along with the temperament, the Varna, the type, the drive and the Lord, etc. And the D10 chart also has stuck in there on the top right corner. By the way, if you're new to my channel, my content is best seen on a tablet like an iPad or a Samsung tablet, whatever tablets you have or a desktop or a laptop. Okay, because it's a presentation style of looking at things. Simple. And entrepreneurship and abilities, leadership and management, social work and community service, research and analysis. But what is the core? What is the core of Dhanishtha Nakshatra? What is it trying to tell us? If my chart, open my chart, D1, D10, Ulnamamsha, whatever chart, and I see number of planets and points bunched in Dhanishtha in a particular house, the house characteristics will obviously be there. But what is it trying to tell me? That's what I'm trying to get at here. The life lesson tied into drive, like we saw in the previous one. What is the life lesson of a Dhanishtha Nakshatra? God, it's hot here. Find the right kind of resources to make true wealth, beauty, wealth, materials. You need all of this. That's the life lesson of a Dhanishtha Nakshatra. 
Now find right kind of resources tied up with the drive. Drive is to have a sthiti. Drive is to have preservation. So Dhanishya Nakshatra needs to actively go out there, work to find the right kind of resources. Finding the right kind of resources. Resources might be wealth, material, musical instruments. If you are a musician, right kind of teacher. They are all resources. Resources can be anything. Dhanishtha is good at uh, music, for example. If you are creative and performing arts, you need the right kind of teacher. You need the right kind of musical instruments. You need the right kind of training. So many things you need. Technology and innovation. If you are a developer, software programmers, engineers, IT professionals, you need proper education. You need proper degrees. You need to be trained in a proper institute or a university, college. If you are leadership and management, well, you might need to do an MBA, BBA, whatever it is, right? If you are social work and community service, even that requires a proper degree. You can't just go out and do social work, whatever you like. There is a structure to these things, how we participate in the society. Now let's look at the D1, D10 part of it. Over there, let me point the mouse out here. Right? What kind of nakshatra loves to work? Because work is very dominant in the Rishta nakshatra and they like to preserve. They are working to preserve something. That's the heart of the Nishta nakshatra, folks. They are working in order to preserve something, some aspect. Why I am saying something? It depends upon which house it is placed, which planet is placed and everything else. I have covered it in the D10 if you want to go through that one. But which are the angles or the archetypes which signify work? It's these first degrees. Agni. Strong work ethic, ability to overcome challenges, determination, inspirational, passionate and creative. All of that is in the left side right there. Right? Yama, three, six to nine degrees, right? The third angle. Yama is all about discipline, strong sense of responsibility, adherence to ethics, morality at work. Nine to twelve, again, leadership and management requires competitive spirit, asura, drive to succeed, ambitious, change makers to traditional ways at work. So the initial angles, as you can see, even Indra, leadership, qualities, power, authority. So from zero degrees, right up till 9 to 12 degrees, 0 to 12 degrees in your D10 chart, it will, if you have planets in Dhanishta, you see there, it ties in very well the angle in the Dhanishta nakshatra, which it is making, the archetypes, D10 archetypes, and the drive of the nakshatra, they kind of blend in, you need to have a blend in between the planets acting and the drive of the particular nakshatra, for the nakshatra color to really show itself to you in your life, right? For example, if you have Kshatriya planets like Mars and Sun sitting in Dhanishta, well, it's active, it provides fuel, but Mars and uh, Sun are not necessarily servant class. You see what I mean? If you go more towards Vaishya, Mercury and Moon, they will do well in Dhanishta because it's more like a Vaishya. They'll have to go out there. They'll have to put up shops, restaurants, cafes, business, essentially. If it's a Shudra, yes, it'll do well. If it's some lecha, that will also do well. Rahu Ketu will also do well. Why? Because it loves to go out there. It's an active nakshatra. Rahu Ketu are active points. So they'll have to participate. They'll have to get stuff done. Right? So this is how you need to understand the planets working with the nakshatra as the backdrop. The planet is in the front. The nakshatra is at the back. Like light shining from the back. Think of it like that. Okay? This is what you got to understand the nakshatra and the heart of every nakshatra is. The planet is there in the forefront in your zodiac, in your sign, moving through life in a particular area, wanting to get shit done. Whereas the light shining at the back, colored light, is the nakshatra. And now the drive of the planet and the color of the one angles, what we are talking about, D10, have to match. Like you can't have a warrior going out and studying the Vedas, for example. Mars and Sun are not very good at studying the Vedas because they are not Brahmana, Nakshatra, uh, planets. They are more Kshatriya planets. I want to go out there and get shit done. So Dhanishta is about that. Dhanishta active planets will do very well in this. That means Mars and Sun will do well in this. And so will Saturn do well in this. Think of these. Tie the Lord, Aquarius and Capricorn to the drive which goes on here. Aquarius is what? Tamasic female and fixed sign. Aquarius is Tamasic fixed and female sign. Right? Movable side, I think. Yeah, Capricorn is movable, Aquarius is fixed. 
So in Capricorn, this will tend to move a lot of energy because it's already an active nakshatra. You see what I mean? But what is their life lesson finally? Is to find the right kind of resources. This is the main challenge of the Nishta. They might get stuck in their life if they are not getting the proper resources. So if you are the Nishta out there listening, please go out there, find the right resources that is needed for you in whatever your talents are, in any one of these things. For example, it may be something out of this list also, of course. Okay. So I'll catch you in the next one. Meanwhile, take care. Be safe. Have a great day.